we've had to consider how we dealt with a significant piece of heritage uh, which unfortunately uh, proved too difficult to repair and consequently was, had the potential to damage uh, more significant material below it uh, which has led to the removal of the captain's cabin flat and therefore uh, a reconsideration of uh, the interpretation uh, upon the ship. We had the head of historic ships from the National Museum of the Royal Navy, Andrew Baines, uh, come over and, and uh, do an assessment on it. We had a huge amount of water ingress in that area and that's probably the one area now that uh, needed urgent attention. And what we found when we did um, all our surveys was that the construction of the cabin flat um, was, uh, it was poor basically and um, we couldn't be comfortable that, that it was going to be safe for the long term. It's not as historically significant as some of the other areas of the ship and also the deck uh, below the cabin flat was in really poor condition. So, the only way to repair that was to physically remove the cabin flat. Now what we did was we had it archaeologically surveyed and we, we used the contractors to sympathetically remove it um, in, in large chunks so that it could be a future restoration project uh, once we're complete. But the only way for us to protect the ship and stop the water ingress was to physically remove it. It's been uh, put into storage and uh, again well, can, be, can be restored at a, at a future date. The intention now is to do the repair works uh, that will allow us to undertake the works in the captain's flat below, the, the painting and the m and &E installations etc. And we're going to install a six inch gun uh, back onto that area which would have been in place when the ship was at the Battle of Jutland.